Hello everyone, my name of course is Artemis, you're being a pure awesome, and welcome to day two of bed. Behind me is a bit of a 3D print space as I alluded to yesterday. Where one in the corner is the Ender 5 Plus from Creality. The one next to it in the red there is the Elegoo Saturn 2. And the things on the table next to it are the Wash and Cure Station also by Elegoo, the Mercury XS. In short, this year I've gotten into 3D printing as I've wanted to for a while. I had an Ender 3 since about 2017, but I only set it up earlier this year for a brief period because I didn't have anywhere to set up for a good long while. And once I got going, it became clear that I needed to upgrade. The Ender 3 Plus and all the clone models are still great starting points for most people. Uh, for me though, the fact that the Y-axis was built the bed going back and forth and that was going to require more torque and that's how you wanted up with more errors, made me decide, you know what, I need something where the bed movement is only to go up and down for your Z-axis. So the Ender 5 Plus. The resin printer there is a lucky win through a YouTube comment thread. And I've got some big plans for that, including something for Extra Life's Tabletop Appreciation Weekend next year. Keep tuned for that. Something I've done with the Ender 5 recently is this skull made of other bones that a friend of mine saw online through a TikTok creator we both followed that she fell in love with. So she asked me to make it for. Uh, I made it pretty hardy. There's a lot of infill in here, way more than it needs to be. And it's got thick walls. So that will be fine once I get around to it, painting and shipping it. I need to get some black primer and some bone colored craft paint because I'm not using my hobby paints for that because there's not enough paint and it's too expensive. When I learned how 3D printing was becoming more generally accessible, I got excited because I wanted to do some cosplay things for a while now. And the first thing that came to mind for me was Alistair Kane from the miniatures game War Machine. I like his character design. I like his armaments. I like his armor. So I'm learning Fusion 360 and I'm working on some things for that. Uh, primarily I'm starting the most difficult thing because everything else will be so much easier once I have that nailed down. His Spellstorm Revolt. Eventually those will go through several iterations but I'm just starting with something where there's some basic mechanical functionality. I'm going to make it so the trigger can pull and you do the hammer will spin uh, pull back and the cylinder will spin and then strike down from the hammer. Just like the cap guns from when I was a kid. Eventually I intend to add lights, electronics and even in a major ambition I want to make it do a puff of smoke when you pull the trigger. The resin printer is going to be fantastic for doing a lot of tabletop things for like parts for models, printing off model conversion pieces unique models for things and that's going to be a big part as I said of my tabletop appreciation weekend next year. Now I'm learning to model some things myself because I want to make sure that I have the skill set and I think it's going to help me in terms of getting into a career. I mean, I've been doing similar things already having worked in factories to the majority of extent since 2013. But you no, know, even if I wasn't doing that these are still great devices to have around the home. I mean we moved in here a little over a month ago and didn't realize that a lot of our sinks and the bathtub do not have plugs. So I was able to 3D print one on the resin printer. I could have done it with the FDM one, but I'm still intending to use that for other devices, such as a hair strainer for the drink. In case you're wondering why I went with resin in that case, it's because resin is inherently waterproof and it doesn't absorb water. And these are things that you could get for your own home to solve little issues or make cool projects and toys. And you don't have to know a thing about modeling. There's plenty of resources online, including YouTube videos and model repositories and all kinds of things. Huge community out there with lots of resources so anyone can do this at this stage. Before investing in any type of 3D printer, do make sure you're looking at your situation. For example, a lot of people I won't recommend getting a resin one for simply because you'll have a little more challenges with things such as the vapors and a little more materials needed for keeping yourself safe. For example, nitrile gloves. It has to be nitrile. Latex will melt. So if you've been seeing these things on YouTube or TikTok or anywhere else, just cool things being made and you want to do it yourself, you totally can. You just got to look at what you want to do with it and how you intend to go about it. Though more 3D printing things will be coming to this channel over time along with everything else I'm already up to which granted this channel doesn't see a lot, but I'm hoping to change that real soon. Of course, the next thing will be tomorrow's episode of VED, so make sure to come back for that. And until then, take care of yourselves and each other and keep on being awesome.